Welcome to the channel, everybody. My name is Ryan, and this is Dot Age. We are back for another episode here at our village. Of course, we have made it through the first three seasons and are now about midway through winter. Yeah, considering winter, I think, was only 20 days. We're now on the ninth day till spring, thank goodness. So I'm looking forward to the warm weather again. But um, we are currently on our third prophecy page right now, as you can see. And we are mere days away from the final apocalyptic event. In fact, we're four days away. We are working. I think we're going to have a positive outcome. You never know, though, because events could change, transpire, occur, and we could get some more sickness piled on. Because as you can see, we got a very narrow margin. We're plus four per turn, and the sickness domain is producing plus three per turn. So, like I said, it's going to be a close call. But um, we're currently working right now on a second healing post or whatever these are called um the healer's hut so we're working on a second one of those so that we can increase that in the future if we need it i don't know how effective that'll be right away because we've still got to train a healer too once we get that laid so i don't know if it's going to be done in four days but like i said as long, if things keep going on the current course we'll be okay um i've got everybody assigned to a job I think things are pretty well settled. Food has been really a non-issue this, this whole season. We prepared really well for it ahead of time. So as you can see, I should probably set somebody up to on this uh, butchering table, or not butcher, the barbecue table. We've got one person down here, but um, well, let's go ahead and end our turn because we've got a child pip. Hopefully it will grow up soon. I'm sure we got a few people. Oh, look at that, we finished. That's an upgrade to our nature shrine. So that's a, I'm trying to get some stuff prepared for like the next scroll. Cause I'm sure we're going to have tons of events popping left and right. So there we go. If we, if we upgrade our domain uh, buildings now, it should be very helpful or at least get the capacity to upgrade. I mean, our research it. Uh, and on top of that, I've got to look out for any distressed pawns. Yeah. I've got four distressed pawns. So we'll deal with that shortly. Let, I do have two people available for work. Let's put one of them there. Like I said, produce a bit more meat per turn just so we don't run out here. And of course, don't forget, um, we've got the boon for eating water. So if it really comes down to it, we can slap an extra person on this well and eat water. So that's going to be pretty helpful, obviously. Now, let's see here. We've got one person left. Can we upgrade the stone yet? Did I get that? No, we need to research that. I don't know if that's the next thing I want to do, but a stone mason's hut is going to be, I have a feeling, very, very much necessary. Hmm. Copper bars. advanced. Oh, I'm just looking for planks, trying to see if any of these show me where the planks are being made at yet, but... Not yet, not yet. I, I went ahead and researched, what was it, this? No, 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 the growth. Yeah, I researched the town hall, and I just don't have the ability to make planks yet, so it was kind of a waste, but it's okay. We're well ahead of the game in terms of our town hall. That's all I'm going to say about it. Now let's get back to it. Uh, we'll go for stonemason at the moment. As you can see, like my wood is totally fine, but the stone, not so much, not so much. Now, one more person. What do we do? Should we put them on the water? God, this is the worst well in the world. I'll tell you that much, but mm, you know what? Actually, hold on. Let's pull them off. That's our butcher. I'm going to have them upgrade this. Yeah, we need to go for the nature shrine. Boom. That'll be helpful. Yeah, like I said, we get this upgraded. We don't need it now. There's no nature threat at all, but... I like to try and stay ahead of the game. Look at our fear domain, too. We're really pumping it out now. So, again, there's no threats currently in that domain until we finish this, but we'll be okay. I like having it generating. I don't think... I don't think there's any need for food, like any scarcity, really. But I don't know about these eggs. Negative three is food. So do we just eat the eggs straight up or do I need to prepare these? You know, I'm not sure. We can cook fish or chicken there. 
Oh, well. Uh, let's see. So, how we doing? Ominous air. What's this? 5% chance of... Oh, that's right. I forgot about the pips getting distressed. <gasps> so, we got four distressed pips. Look at this guy with an eyeball. What? Oh, he's a watcher. I think it's for Halloween. I actually think there's some Halloween Easter eggs. Yep, there's a pumpkin head. So, our farmers have pumpkins on their heads. And the watchers now have eyeballs for heads. That's pretty funny. But let's get all our distressed pips. Okay, well, maybe not all of them. Actually, we just want to do three because that's all I can handle. Now, let me find a watcher. Okay, pull him off. Yeah, we want to get a watcher who's not actually distressed. And let's go ahead, cure distressed. So that'll cure three of them. I still have one person available. Let's just put them on the stone for now. All right, that's good. That's good. Now, how we doing? Food's okay. Yeah, we're going to be okay. But I think I'm going to just progress. Let's go. I'm, I'm super anxious about overcoming this final thing and moving on to the next scroll. I think we're going to be successful, but I just want to get it over with. Come on. Two turns. Oh, okay, we got another lumberjack ready right here. Oh, the lumberjack, I just realized they have like a Jason mask on, I think, right? Yeah. Or is it Friday the 13th mask? I always get those confused. <laughs> it looks like a little hockey mask, though. See it? Oh, yeah. He looks freaky. Okay, so what are we doing? We've got four people now without a job. Okay, how many distressed pips? I've got one. Um, let's pull her off. I'm going to go ahead and get her cured. And we'll reassign. Yeah, I do have two people. Maybe we don't need to reassign. Let's go ahead and get some food production going here. That's good. There's no chickens down here. I'm going to have to build another chicken coop up top. Maybe that's not a bad idea. I mean, we're okay. Like I said, I think we're fine on food for now, but... Getting it ready ahead of time is not a bad idea. Also, I've talked about placing another thinker's post over here. I think definitely need to do that. I wonder, can I place signposts? Yeah, signposts doesn't affect the thinker's post. They can't be directly next to buildings because they like they need to be able to think, obviously, with no disturbing sounds. But the signposts, we'll put that there. And let's see, what else are we building? Anything we can upgrade? There's probably something I'm missing here. Oh, look, our healer. Okay. Ah, I'm thinking about, should I go ahead and train up this person? Ah, uh, see. Wait. What? Oh, I forgot. Wait a second. Why is it showed this thinker is unemployed? What? Building. Oh, wait. Building is abandoned nearby. Nothing. Is that it? Is it because I built this? Oh, I think that's it. I think I was wrong that this is screwing it up here. Okay, hold on. Let's deconstruct that. Yep, that was it. I can't even put a signpost next to it. I was totally wrong. <gasps> okay, now I know. All right, well, I don't think I can get these two spots then if I can't put a signpost there, which is okay. I'll just have to find another like secluded area to start building more thinking posts, you know? That's okay. We don't need to have them all next to each other. So with that being the case, let's build another signpost over here. It's not a bad idea. All right, let's go. I should be expanding as much as I can. Okay. Yeah, as you can see, I did lay quite a bit of stone paving. Okay, we're looking good. Protection is going strong. Hope is great. Oh, this is it. You currently have 50 chance of attaining a good event. Better be more than 50-50. Ah, here we go. Wait, I remember that after the Doom event was averted, the village was different. Oh, we get a boon. 
Here we go. So with the settlers, three pips are welcome. Tech, heat coating. Buildings get 20% resistance to burning. Eh. All dwellings gain space for one more pip. Oh, that's pretty huge, actually. That gives us tons of room to expand. Okay, I'm going to do making room. Because if we did the settlers right now, I'd have to build like two more cottages. This is huge. I wonder if that counts for this one, too. We'll find out shortly. So that was a pretty anticlimactic Armageddon there, wasn't it? Little pirate hat. All right, boom, making room. Let's do it. Look at that. Gorgeous. Yep, it even counted for the town center. Wow. Hey, good news, everybody. The doom event has been averted. Be careful. The longer we stay here, the more difficult it will be. However, I think we might make it this time. Hmm, what do you mean, this time? Well, I suppose it is time for you to know the truth. The truth about what? This is not the first village to be cursed. Where I come from, we had another elder. He was also a seer. What? The old village. It succumbed to the dooms. I am the only survivor. I cannot believe this. That is why I can see the visions. As the village elder, I am cursed with the sight of our future doom. But this time we will defeat the prophecy. If you say so... Hey, everybody's happy. Encouraged by our elder. Here we go. Prophecy number four. Now look how close we are to doom. Or is there more to scroll down? I gotta look at it again. All right, so we reached adulthood. Hey, look at that. Complete the third prophecy page. I can feel it in my bones. The next season is coming upon us. Get ready for it. Good timing too, going into the spring here in a few days. That's usually happens at the fifth day. Yeah, he gives you a little warning. So let's take a look here. Okay, yeah, let's go to the prophecy page. Scroll, oh, this is a very short one. No, that's it. This is the where we're starting, and the Armageddon hits literally in like 20 days. Whoa. Uh, maybe less than that. Um, but our first event is something. This is seasonal change. The cold. I better be prepared for I do have the ability to do two fires and two ponds here. So this is cold. Produces Turns water into cold. Turns wood into warmth. So we're prepared fairly well, I think, for this domain, the cold domain. Um, although there's no threat counting up right now. now. This one has an event, but it says we cannot influence that event. So we could probably pull this person off there. Honestly, I'm tempted to just man some of these regardless, because, I mean, I've got a ton of people available. Let's just start building up some points in some of these domains, because, like I said, you can get these little mini events, which will hit and crush you all right do we have two people time to start taking advantage of some of that room that we made <laughs> oh food wise we're okay i need to get somebody on the water too but we'll worry about that next turn <gasps> the butcher the butcher's off doing something else it's okay we've got plenty of chicken now let's see i think we're good let's go Growth complete, growth complete, baby Toggy is born. Now we got distressed pawns coming. Come on now. Give me a break here for a minute or two. Three of them. Well, might as well take care of that. Alright, so we'll pull him off. Our barbecue lady. And our chicken lover. Get out of there, chicken lover. Alright. Beautiful. Now I got two peeps left. Let's see here. What did I want to do? Um, we're doing okay on infusion. The infusion we do need to stay aware of because that's what I'm using to cure pips. So I don't want to run out. But I um, hmm. guess I could put them back on the barbecue table. Yeah, let's try and keep up with this food. We're getting close to spring, so we should be okay. But... I just want to make sure. You know what? Actually, hold on. I got a better idea. Screw that. We're going to have, uh, have them reproduce again. 
Let's go. We're going to need a bunch of more pips, guys, because if we're getting ready to go into spring, that means I'm going to start doing some like barley fields and uh, maybe even hemp fields. So we're going to need farmers galore for training purposes. So, yeah, it's time for a little pip explosion, I think. What do you say? I mean, at this point, I can't even keep everything manned. So I'm just going to have try and get two pips to reproduce like every single turn right now until the spring at least. Okay, we're crushing the hope domain. Look at that. Oh, what's this? What's that? Feathers? Animals expand? Oh, the chickens breeded it. Nice. We got two animal. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to put a chicken hut up here too then. Stone mason's hut. Uh, beautiful. All right, well, that's getting upgraded right away. Um, yeah, let me go ahead and do that before I research anything because I'll forget. Gorgeous. All right. Uh, we'll probably have to train somebody now to be like a miner or something. Okay. So first things first, let's get another breeding pair. Good. And I can put a couple of pips on the chickens now. Let's use these other two for some construction. First things first, should we finally go in for copper mining? I feel like now is probably a good time. Um, Hold on. Burial site. I actually think maybe I should do upgrade. Yeah, because I've already got one dead pip. So upgrading to a burial site, it requires an actual profession though. Yeah. I don't know if I really want to actually dedicate somebody to a profession like that right now. Maybe in the near future when we get more pips. All right, let's look at this page here. Ah, this might not be bad coming up for the next season, the Hunter's Lodge upgrade. Plus this only takes two turns, 12. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll upgrade some of these. Not too shabby. All right, let's see here. So that's... No, that's not everybody. We got more pips. Um, What am I short? What are we not producing? God, even with this thing upgraded, it's only two per turn? Wow. We're going to have to build some more of those. Yeah, let's do some more construction. I don't know if I'm going to do that exactly, but first of all... Let's get another signpost. Um, hmm. All right, put it right here. No, it's not very effective. Put it down here, push the boundaries, claim all this area down below, I guess. There's copper in these hills too, so that's going to be important. Right here, there's a bunch of copper. That's nice to see. Okay, and one more. Should do another signpost. What is this? Oh, expand. Allow the village to grow. Build squares. Oh, okay, that's just the category itself. Eventually, I think, I bet you we'll be able to expand our map, but I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, let's get another signpost down. Put it right here. Just claim all that territory. All right, good enough, good enough. Oh, and I got to unlock a new memory. Oh, what do we got? I know the last thing we unlocked was like protests and rabbits. Yeah, here we are. What do we want? Warehouses or terrains removal? There we go. Just what I was talking about. Let's do that. Cut forest. Remove rocks. Perfect. Okay, now we know. I don't think we need it just yet. But, well, actually removing some forest would kind of be nice. Not gonna remove this one, but I don't know. We'll we'll worry about that later. All right, so our pips are working. Everybody is set. Food is fine. Wood is actually being wasted. Let me pull a dude off that. All right, so we're still gonna be wasting a little bit of wood, but that's better than what we were at. Hmm. You know what? I can pull those people off there. Like I said, we don't really need the hope that much. I mean, we're totally fine. So let's do that. Pull them off and breed another one. We're double breeding. Like I said, pip explosion. And it leaves me with one rando. Let's put them on the water. Yep. Big time. There we go. Let's do it. Okay. Cook meat. We are kind of cutting it close on the food, aren't we? But overall, I think we're going to be fine. Because don't forget, we can eat water. 
but yeah, starting to get low. Our stored tomatoes are running out. Okay. Let's see here. How we doing? Next turn, we'll have our Hunter's Lodge done. <gasps> oh, Distress Pawns. I got two of them. Hmm. Purr. And let's go ahead and get him cured up. That's what I say. Now, I'm going to continue to breed. We'll just do one set this time. Let's not go too crazy because we are still having to feed these little kids as well. So, all right, three. I'll put one there for the seeds. Let's see, butcher up. Yeah, let's butcher a little bit. Got one left. Is there... Yeah, let's put them... No, wrong. There we go. Reassign that. Hmm. Is there anywhere I want to expand, really? No, I don't think so. Let's just put them right here. Get the seeds going. Oh my god, look how many seeds I've got. That's awesome. That's going to start us off for the spring really nicely. So I'm happy about that for sure. Let's look. Our domains are fine. The fear domain is actually producing now. But we've got two days until the spring arrives. Can't wait. Let's, let's power. Let's power rush. Speed run. The winter. That's ah, no challenge whatsoever. We had a great winter here. We had two little patches of snow and that was it. But no, I imagine it could be much more severe on harder difficulties. We're kind of in the middle. We're just on normal difficulty. But as I recall, there was like two or three more ahead of us and like some easier ones too. So I'm really anxious for the next run. We're do I'm, I think we're doing pretty well on this one. Like we're going to get far. Well, I hope. We'll see. We'll see how the next this next prophecy page goes. But I anticipate a good run here, but I'm still pretty anxious to start the next one after this eventually fails or whatever. That's going to be really fun and exciting. But um, I'm hoping, too, to open up a new, um, what's it called, leader. Yeah, I'd love to experience like a new leader on the next one instead of having the same dude again. But uh, all right, so what do we want to do? Should I go for skinning now? Since we got our Hunter's Lodge, let's go for skinning. Yeah, we'll do that. And then we can start thinking about like cloth and stuff. All right, that's cool. Now, we got six peeps. Breed, breed, breed. All day long. And remember, though, we're not really doing too much hope. So I can always reassign them to our hope. How's the wood is still being wasted? Oh, man, let's get somebody on our water over here that's something i really should try and build up a little surplus for man oh man look at this even with two water people i you know what i just realized this thing needs to be upgraded hold on yeah i'm gonna upgrade that and get ready for spring i mean it, I, I was dumb and i didn't place it on an actual water source in the very beginning but still I'm not going to deconstruct it and try and replace it at this point. But anyway, let's see. So, are we good? We got three people. Let me find some spots to put them. Okay, well, I think I found some work for our people to do. Uh, I realized that I made a big error when I placed my nature shrine. Because I put it down here. And it gets a bonus when it's next to the wood. So, I don't know what I was thinking when I did that. So, I've got two nature shrines being built up here by the woods now. Because, like I said, we got to get prepared for some of these domains. If we want to overcome like these harder prophecy pages, we got to be ready. So, that's going to give us the potential to do eight I think we're going to get four and four from each of these now, but um, I'm also going to go ahead and destroy this since we don't re really, it's not helping that much and it's kind of in prime territory right there. So that's a good turn. Also, I went ahead and assigned somebody to train up to be a miner or whatever now. So we have a uh, somebody in our little stone village or our stone gatherer. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, here we go. Okay, we got to turn off the heat and go to the cool production. Cold production. Heat domain is enabled. Seasonal threat plus one. Got it. All right. So let's turn him off right away. Uh-oh. I see an unknown event coming upon us. The vision is confusing, but there is hope. We can fight it. Oh, look. It's in the nature. I knew it. 
I knew it was going to come. All right, let's look at our prophecy page. Okay. Yep. So we got one here, here. What is this? Unknown and tied to the heat domain. Oh, and look, the doom, the ultimate doom event for this page is tied to the heat domain. Oh, <gasps> I tell you what, let's, let me look at, oh, dang it. It's not what I want. Let me look at this. Can we upgrade this yet? No. Okay. So the pawn that we have is currently the best, but, um, Let's go ahead and get them outfitted. Can't do it. I don't have anybody here capable of it. So we just need to train up some more watchers. All right? Train profession. Wait a second. Don't I have some watchers? Okay, I've got that one. There we go. Okay, we got one in training and one working. That's good. I've still got three free pips available. Let's see here. All right. Going to take them a few turns before this gets up and running, but I'm hoping by that time we can compensate for the build up there. So we'll see, right? Um, all right. Let's go ahead and breed up a couple. There we go. Water's going well. All right. We can now start to plant our tomatoes again. Oh my God. Look at this. We got berries now. Oh, that's so good. All right, so wood's fine. I really don't even need this little wood hut over here. I'll probably destroy that at some point, but let me look at my gatherers. Okay, so the berry guy, I'm going to pull him because he's just better on a berry bush, obviously. So any of these gatherer huts who are working berries, they're either getting changed or moved. In fact, I should probably just change this anyway. Yeah, we're going to need more hemp at some point. Okay, he's hemp, he's seeds. He seeds, and that's it. Yeah, that's what we're looking at. All right, we're set. Let's go. Uh, I wish I had got these nature shrines set up quicker, but I didn't realize it till it was a little too late, but that's okay. I think our stone gatherer has like a ninja headband on or something. It's hard to tell, but I love it. I love the little uh, Halloween Easter eggs. Here we go. What do we got? Our butcher looks terrifying too. Got like, he kind of looks like the Joker. Sick. Oh no, got a sick pawn. <gasps> Flu epidemic. Two pips are sick for 10 days. Well, can we treat that? I do have the healer's hut. Oof. Did, did I see that coming? Or was that just a mini event that just popped up? Unknown event. I think I must have missed it. Or it was just something I couldn't do anything to. Skinning rack. Okay, we did it. Hold on. Let me look here. So. No. I think I will switch this over. Cure sick. There it is. All right, let's put the pawn here. Take you off, put you there. I think I am going to go ahead and train another healer. All right, now, whoops, let's go ahead and heal. Here, sick. Ah, looks like it's bringing both pawns over. That's amazing. How are we doing on, we have zero distress pawns, so that's really good. We have five babies. Let's go ahead and choose. What are we doing? Ended up getting that skinning rack. Uh, still haven't touched copper yet. All right, we're doing copper. I don't care. I'm doing the copper. Now, what do we got left? Three pips. I almost feel like now is probably a good time to start positioning yourself with a third or a fourth thinking post. Um, secluded retreat. Oh, wait a second. Oh, crap. Hold on a second, guys. I can upgrade. Oh, oh I'm so stupid. We don't need another one. I just need to upgrade. No way. That's going to be huge. I, see, I knew that there was probably something I had missed in terms of building or upgrading. And there it is. Uh, I didn't even know what that's going to bring us to. But it effectively does put our research on hold for now. So for eight, two turns. Which isn't the end of the world. We'll just have to wait it out a little bit. But nonetheless, guys, I think that's probably a good spot to end things here. The other three pawns are just going to get set up in the, potato, or in the tomato fields. 
get those things rocking and rolling. So, uh, feeling pretty good guys, feeling good. Thank you so much for the comments you guys have been leaving. Some of them have been extremely helpful and really helped me learn the game. So I appreciate you guys out there for tuning in, hit that like button for me, subscribe to the channel. If you have not done so yet, also big shout out to the Patreon supporters. Thank you guys very much. And I will see all of you on the next episode.